Well, happy birthday to me today. Anyway, y'all. You know, it's a paradox that men are stuck in. And it's basically factoring with the fear of missing out, you know. If I knew back then what I know now, things would be a lot different. But you can't live in regret. But if I can help somebody who's where I used to be age-wise back then, if they can hear this somewhere sometime when they really need to hear this, hopefully it does its job. It's like this. We have this whole thing where we have this fear of missing out. You know, we're young. We don't want to be tied down. Yeah, I get that. Nobody should want to be tied down so quickly. But I will tell you this now. Do not burn the bridges that you make. Okay? Because when it comes to the whole relationship thing, a lot of guys my age and in between, even older, then you youngsters out there And I say youngsters I sound so old I don't mean it like that In a disrespectful way Y'all Forgive me I'm a generation Xer, But I don't mean it in that way I, I look at A lot of, I look at the millennials Like my little brothers Cause hell A lot of my friends Are Of millennial age And stuff I, I've always been like a big brother Because I'm the last of Three children So I never had a younger brother So Always look at younger friends Like not somebody that I want to mold But somebody I can help You know It's in my nature It's what I do for a living I help people um, Not on YouTube But in real life Emergency situations You you know I'm a, You know I'm a first responder So Anyway It's like this The fear of missing out Will get the better of us And I'm going to tell you now If you have somebody good in your life and things are going well. Like as for a significant other. Don't F it up. Seriously don't. Don't F it up. And I ain't saying this as a regret. I'm just saying look. I've never really had that type of person in my life. Like at a younger age. Like in my earlier years. When I hit my 30s. That was a different story. You know even still. So I can speak for experience. As you listen to my dog slop his board in the background. But I can speak from experience. It's like this. If you're missing out, what have you completely chasing success? Completely. And it's not wrong to chase success. I mean, that's very important and whatnot. But you got to be ready for your love life post success and beyond. Because you're going to have to factor in a lot of females are with you because of the success. No more, no less. You know? Even the ones sometimes who find a way to you while you're on that wet, while you're on your way. Sometimes you even gotta question them because they see your potential. This is what women do. They judge men. A lot of women, a lot of women, not all women, a lot of women judge men by their potential and their ambition. This is why they want you to be ambitious and have a drive, which you should have anyway. Anybody, everybody should have ambitions. And drives, but women scout you on either what you got or your potential, and they wait for the perfect opportunity to strike. And like I said, not all women, but a lot of women do this. Okay, and the older you get, the more successful you get, the more you can't trust a lot of female motives. This is why I'm saying if you got something good going on in the long run, if you got something good going on. Current, like in your younger years Let that run as long as it can Don't hold on to something that you can't hold to no longer If it's slipping through your fingers like sand Don't hold on to it But get what I'm saying Prepare your mind Look for certain things And be aware of certain red flags Okay Because yeah We still run the risk of somebody that you've been with for a long time You've grown with together Y'all built something together Or she was with you that whole time And then things go awry And then she wants to go off Take half your money Take a lot of things And then do her Okay This is why I'm saying Even as a, young, as a younger man You have to pay attention to How she treats you 
if she gives you this aura that she's only with you because she can't do better you might want to watch out for that you might want to watch out for that i mean like case in point look at um look at aisha curry and steph curry you know the woman was only crying about men paying attention to her because she felt that she wasn't a prize she didn't feel her self-confidence was at an all-time low her self-esteem is because you had so many children back to back you gain weight that's what happens to women when they gain weight but you know what happens to women who want to keep themselves healthy they lose the weight and when she lost the weight she shut up about men paying attention to it have you noticed that now what is she doing She's putting Steph Curry into cornrows and whatnot, trying to make him into something he's not. I mean, and then you got Ciara doing that to Russell Wilson also. Like, come on now. Like, people look at that, oh, it's, it's harmless. It's just hearstone, stuff like that. Like, look, she wants a square to be on the outside like the man she's attracted to she a lot of women start to rise up and realize that a lot of men that they are attracted to just aren't sustainable as a husband but they like that type of guy so if they can jump at the opportunity to aesthetically make you into that type of man they will jump on that and like i keep saying not all women but I'm using these two celebrity female, black females as case and point. And a lot of women will do that without even trying to change you aesthetically. Some will try to change you from the inside out. So I'm warning you guys also, if she can't go by a single issue without trying to argue with you or get you to argue or get under your skin just because she can then that's not a good look also she wants you to be the combative she's from combativeness i don't know if she grew up in a toxic household or this is how she likes her men you know some women only feel alive when you don't agree with them or when you put them in a place you know i'm dealing with somebody right now who has this mentality where she she's always she's always in the mood well that you know that's just her she's caribbean so this is what she says she's caribbean she's always in the mood she's same age as me which is crazy so it is true that women's sex drive does skyrocket the older they get you know case in point look at madonna <laughs> anyway back on point you know i even lost my train of thought Oh, man, I hate when I do that during these videos. These are so unscripted. But anyway, it's like this. A lot of older women, like I said, their sex drive increases. But a lot of them have this mentality where they only get aroused when you are assertive and you, you're, you're, you're damn near hurting their feelings. They say, oh, you hurt my feelings and stuff. But when you stand your ground. Like like the other night, I told you, I like I tell you now, I was like not having it. Okay? I told her if she wanted she what do you want from me? Do you want this to be over with? Because if you're not spending any time with me, if you're not giving me what I want, what's the purpose? I can get intimacy and sex from somebody else. What is your purpose? What do you you bring to this table now i'm not talking about money y'all you know women always when they talk about what you bring to the table it's always about money when it comes to us this is what they expect of us but when men for the most part say what do you bring to this table do you bring peace of mind you know besides sex what do you bring to this table sex is like a default thing okay can do you know how to wash your own clothes do you know how to cook do you know how to clean? Do you have a great character? Do you do you have a sense of humor? A lot of women just think, oh, well, I can give this man children. I can ha give him sex. 
and that's all he needs. F his feelings. I don't want to talk. I don't want him to talk about it. If he's calling me out, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna accuse him of complaining too much. I'm gonna do all these different things. This is what a lot of women do, because if they can make you feel inadequate about your manhood, about your manhood, they feel they can shut you up and you will take your attention off of their shortcomings. Because you'll be focused on your own. But I'm here to tell you guys. No. Don't let up. And if she goes. That means she was never down with you. She just was wasting your time. Okay. So in the end. I'm going to say this. And I'm going to finish this out. Because I don't want to linger too long. It's like this. That fear of missing out in your young years. It's what get us to this point. Like even like even women realize it. It's the same thing that women do. They they focus all their success. They focus all their time into building their success. And they don't build character. They don't learn how to see red flags with men. They're still dating like they're juveniles in um high school. Meaning that they didn't get the bad boy phase out their system. Uh there's a lot of things that they fail to learn about relationships. They just feel a lot of them feel like their success just merits them something and they never mentally grow. You know, just because you're good at one thing in life and it brings you financial security doesn't mean that you are a well-rounded individual that knows how to be in a relationship. You know, a lot of people who come from less can go further when it comes to relationships because they if especially couples who stay together because they learn how to work together they learn how to live amongst each other they learn how to compromise from one another and a lot of women feel like they don't have to compromise you know hell a lot of a lot of women feel like they don't have to compromise no matter what uh financial class they in the only men you really see that feel like they ain't got the compromise is those who got money. You get the difference? That class of man is the only man that feels like he ain't got a compromise versus uh, the the every class of female, basically. Women within every financial class feel like they ain't got to compromise much of anything. They feel like because their vagina is what you desire... They don't have to do much. You know, they just feel like that's all you uh that's feel like that's all they need to keep you. But it's what you can get everywhere. Okay? You know, it may leave you feeling a little empty on the inside after you done paid the price and she done left the house. But it's a scratch that you can itch. You know, some people some men put up with a lot of females just because they look a certain part. Some f men put up with a lot of females beneath them because they feel like they can't do any better. And women do the same thing too, you know? But, um, you know, when it comes to the, the, the fault of the, the significant other, it's like it's always like we have this situation where we have to be apologetic and a woman... It's her just That's her being strong But a guy gotta be apologetic For putting his foot down Or a guy gotta be Apologetic for making mistakes Of course Because it's a mistake But a woman's mistakes Is her having to do What she have to do in quotes And I know I said I wasn't supposed to rant on further But Oh <sighs> This is my 42nd birthday advice to a lot of you guys out there in different ages. Maybe somebody older might have some advice for me. Maybe I can help somebody younger than me. Maybe somebody younger than me might put me on to something. I'm not somebody who's here that's this um, omnipotent dude that just knows everything. All right? I'm not. But anyway, y'all, once again, happy birthday to me. Enjoy your day. It's rainy here. They say 
if it rains on no that's your wedding sorry i wish it was your birthday it'd be good luck i don't know what that means is that bad luck i don't know super i don't i'm not superstitious it's just a a funny expression that they said if it rains on your wedding that means good luck <laughs> yeah i wish the more the good luck anyway y'all because i'm a fury i'm out peace